All right, here's some more related rate problems, and I'm going to do two problems, one with a balloon rising up, and the one here on the bottom is we're going to talk about a uh, police car chasing another vehicle. The reason why I like this one for number eight so well is because we're basically talking about the change in an angle right here. Here's our theta right here, so we're going to talk about this angle. So it says a hot air balloon is rising straight up from a level field, and is tracked by a rangefinder 500 feet from the liftoff point. So we're going to call the 500 feet here X here. Okay, so it's right here the rangefinder told us that. At the moment the rangefinder's elevation of the angle is pi over 4, so they're telling us the angle is pi over 4, okay. The angle is, dec is increasing at a rate of 0.14 radians per minute. So they're telling us basically that this, this um, range finder, it's, it's changing as the balloon is rising because the, the balloon is going up, all right? So the angle is, so they told us basically that d theta dt is going to be 1.14 radians per minute, and it's going to be positive because it's going to be increasing because it's following the balloon up, if you will, okay? They want to basically know how fast is the balloon rising at that moment. So this is our side y right here. So we're going to, they, we're looking for dy dt. Now the first thing that's very difficult for students, whatever, is to figure out what trig function am I going to use um, because I have three sides of a right triangle here. So I know I can use um, sine, cosine, or tangent. And what I always tell them is look at what you were given. So I was given this value here, and I'm looking for it going up like this. So I've got opposite over adjacent, so tangent is going to work. So if I do the tangent of theta, I know is opposite, which is y, which is changing over 500, okay? And I'm going to think of this as 1 over 500 times y. When I go to do the derivative to find the rates, I see the derivative of tangent is secant squared or 1 over cosine squared. So we can do 1 over cosine squared of theta, okay? d theta equals 1 over, five, 1 over 500, because if I do the derivative, would this be a 1? And it will be dy. Go through and divide it by dt, because everything was is with respect to time. Then I got to go through and say, well, I am going to um, basically solve, I already know d theta dt, I already know, I don't know 1 over cosine squared, but I do know that this is 1 over 500 and I want to solve for dy dt. So basically I can say dy dt, if I multiply both sides by 500, is going to be 500 over the cosine squared of theta d theta dt. Now the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So basically we got to figure out what that is going to be at that time. And I look at it and say, well, I know the angle already is pi over 4. So if I know that the cosine, all right, because that's what we're looking for, of pi over 4, I know it is radical 2 over 2. I have that memorized. So I'm just going to replace cosine squared with radical 2 over 2 squared. So I have dy d theta, excuse me, dy dt, excuse me, is 500 and it's going to be divided by radical 2 over 2 and we're squaring that d theta dt, okay? So now I know that this, if I square radical 2, that's going to be 2 over 4 or 1 half and then I'm going to multiply it by the 500, I end up doing dy dt. And you know what, in this spot right here, how about we put in what d theta dt is? We know right here it's times 0 0.14. So when I multiply that all out, I'm going to get 140 feet per minute. And you can go through and check my math if you want, but basically you're squaring this, taking 500 divided by that and multiplying by 0.14. So that's how fast that balloon is rising. That's interesting. The next one is a police cruiser, and this is kind of a fun one too. The police cruiser is going this way right here towards this intersection, okay? So it's going that way, it's headed that way. And then we have this car running going this way. 
right? So the, it's chasing this, this car. So the police cruiser is approaching a right angled intersection from the north. So it's coming in this direction right here. And it's chasing a speeding car that has turned the corner is now moving east, okay? When the cruiser is 0.6 miles away, so this is X right here, we, wanna, we know that X is 0.6 miles away. Oh, excuse me, that's the cruiser. I apologize. The cruiser is 0.6 miles away. So this is going to be our Y value, okay? North of the intersection, and the car is 0.8 miles per way to the east. The police determines with radar that the distance between the car is increasing at 20 miles per hour. Now when they're talking about that, they're talking about this distance S here because that's really what's increasing as he's chasing that car. It says if the cruiser is moving at 60 miles per hour, so we know this, but if you look over here it shows a negative 60 because it's coming close, the distance is closing in, so it's going to be a negative, uh, miles, negative 60 miles per hour if you will. At the instant of the measurement, what is the speed of the car? So I have an S here, I have X and Y. This should look familiar. This is a right triangle. So we can go through and do our relationship. So we know that X squared plus Y squared equals S squared. We know that 2X DX plus 2Y DY equals 2S DS. Go through and divide through by DT because everything's with respect to time. And this is the fun part. I can say thanks for playing with the twos. So now let's look and see what we have. We have x dx dt plus y dy dt equals s ds dt. Okay? Now let's see if we can fill everything in. And remember, we're solving for what now? We're solving for dx dt, so this is what we're going to end up solving for when we're done. How fast is that getaway car, if you will? So x, we know, is 0.8 miles times dx dt. We don't know what that is. That's what we're solving for. Plus y, we know, is 0.6 miles times dy dt, which is times a negative 60 miles per hour okay equals s now what is s going to be well s we can figure out what s is if we know that this is 0.6 right here we know this is 0.8 right here we can do the Pythagorean theorem and at that time find out what s is so s is going to be s squared is going to equal 0.8 squared plus 0.6 squared so s comes out to be one mile away so I'm going to write S as one mile. So it's going to be one mile times ds dt, which we know is 20 miles per hour. Sorry, I ran out of room a little bit. So basically, the only thing we're doing here is we're going to solve for this. Okay? So if you go through and multiply and do all the algebra here, I'm going to end up going... 0.8 miles dx dt and basically what I did was I multiplied these two and moved them over on the other side is going to equal 56 miles squared per hour and then when I divide by 0.8 I get dx dt is 70 miles per hour and I'm kinda happy that that's positive excuse me that it's positive because um, it's going in that uh, right direction away, and as you can see, they're speeding because they're going 70 miles per hour. That's the end of these two problems.